Go to Hogwarts to learn the basics of Quidditch and compete for the Quidditch Cup. Welcome to Hogwarts. Now that you're here, you can choose which of the four house teams you'd like to take through to the Quidditch Cup. Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff or Slytherin. Once you've chosen a team, you can guide them through a series of house challenges. And if you're successful in these challenges, then your team should have enough skills to compete in the Hogwarts Quidditch Cup. Who knows, you might even win it. Over to you, Wood. Right. No, Quidditch is easy enough to understand. There are seven players on each side. Three of them are called chasers. This ball's called the quaffle. The chasers throw the quaffle to each other and try to get it through one of the hoops to score a goal. Ten points every time the quaffle goes through one of the hoops. Now, there's another player on each side who's called the keeper. I'm keeper for Gryffindor. I have to fly around our hoops and stop the other team from scoring. Stand back. The bludgers rock around trying to knock players off their brooms. That's why you have two beaters on each team. It's their job to protect their side from the bludgers and try to knock him towards the other team. <laughs> to sum up so far, three chasers try and score with the quaffle. The keeper guards the goalposts. The beaters keep the bludgers away from their team. Now the last member of the team is the Seeker, who doesn't have to worry about the Quaffle or the Bludgers. This is the Golden Snitch, and it's the most important ball of the lot. It's very hard to catch because it's so fast and difficult to see. It's the Seeker's job to weave in and out of the Chasers, Beaters, Bludgers and Quaffle to catch the Snitch before the other team's Seeker, because whichever Seeker catches the Snitch wins his team an extra 150 points, so they nearly always win. A game of Quidditch only ends when the snitch is caught. Any questions? No? Good. Thanks, Oliver. Oh, and one other thing before you choose your house team. If the team you select does manage to win the Hogwarts Quidditch Cup, you'll be awarded a ticket to this year's Quidditch World Cup. If you win the ticket, you'll be able to choose an international team to support right through the tournament, hopefully to the World Cup final. OK. So if you'd like to choose your house team, we can start to play Quidditch. Thank you for choosing the Hufflepuff Quidditch team. We want you to be fully prepared for your first match, so we'll start with some training. Our team is anxious to meet you. Let's go! Hello there, Malcolm Priest. Pleased to meet you. I'm one of Hufflepuff's chasers. This house challenge is all about passing the quaffle. This challenge is all about passing the quaffle. Your three chasers will be flying in a V-shaped formation and between each chaser you'll see a magical ring. These rings will cycle between yellow and green. The chasers must pass the quaffle back and forth through the rings while they are green. Missing a ring or passing the quaffle through a yellow ring will cause that ring to turn red and the time penalty will be incurred. Hello, Cedric here. To pass the quaffle, press the action button. Use the broomstick control to direct your path. Great! Some new Quidditch cards! How splendid! We've won our first Quidditch card. 
The more cards we win, the more the Hufflepuff team will be able to do. These cards will access many other things as well. You can take a look at your Quidditch cards anytime you like. So long as you're not actually engaged in playing. Press this button and select the View Cards option. Use the directional keys to cycle through the cards we've collected. You'll also find hints on how to win more cards. Hello, my name's Heidi McAvoy. I'm a chaser for Hufflepuff. This challenge concerns tackling and shooting at the goals. This is a one-on-one -on -one challenge between one of your chasers and a ghost. Edgar Cloggs is the ghost in question, and he's been hanging around the Quidditch pitch for as long as anyone can remember. Edgar was obviously an extremely proficient Quidditch player in his day, and he's going to be flying around the pitch with a quaddle, trying to avoid your chaser. The aim of the challenge is to tackle Edgar, take the quaffle from him, and throw it into one of the goals. Edgar will, of course, not only try to prevent your chaser from gaining the quaffle, but will also try to prevent them from scoring. Hello, set up again. Press the action button to tackle and the shoot button when you're in range of the goals. Great! Some new Quidditch cards! Nice to meet you. My name is Cedric Diggory. I'm the captain of Hufflepuff and the Team Seeker. Ready to learn about being a Seeker? A Golden Snidget has escaped from a Snidget reservation. And because I'm a Seeker, I have been asked to catch it. This is an excellent opportunity to learn about slip skinning and boosting when playing in a real match. And Madam Hooch has very kindly agreed to help us out. You will see that Diggory must follow in the slipstream of my broom as we pursue the Golden Snidget. This is so that he can accumulate enough power to boost himself into position and therefore catch the Snidget. Once Diggory has enough boost, I will peel off and be grabbing the Snidget to him. Use the action button to give yourself a speed boost. And when Brilliant! We've won some new Quidditch cards! You've done really well to have successfully completed your first three house challenges and I think you're ready to play your first real Quidditch match. Ready for a match against Ravenclaw, are you? We'll see just how ready you really are. Let's play for the Quidditch Cup! This is Lee Jordan speaking to you from a packed stadium here at Hogwarts. My good friend and well-known Quidditch expert Seamus Finnegan joined me for today's game between Hufflepuff and Ravenclaw. Thanks there Lee. I think we've got quite a match for you here today. Adam Hook will referee today's match. Yeah. 
Jason! Davies! At the moment, Hufflepuff is at the top of the league. <laughs> 